A Christmas real estate scramble has sent property prices through the roof. Many are keen to buy and sell before the year is up, with the highest number of auctions ever recorded for this time of year. Decorations up, the competition spirited, buyers in a festive rush. Sold, congratulations and well bought. An eye-watering $1,985,000 for this modest family home in Eastwood. It's really starting to look like Christmas. A bittersweet gift for the vendors. This big tree here in the front yard, it was about as tall as me in 1970 when we, when we moved in. So lots of great memories. The result, breaking records. I think it's the, uh, scary. Well, yeah, scary. I think it's the low interest rates and yeah, all that. I think they've overpaid, but that's the way the market seems to be going. Fueled by an unprecedented end of year real estate scramble. What we are seeing is the highest level of auction activity ever recorded this late in the year. There's something in the water with the strongest price growth in holiday and seaside suburbs. Byron Bay has seen the average price jump 40%. Pearl Beach, 45%. North of Voca, 38 The northern beaches, also popular. It's likely that some people can move a little bit further away from the city as a result of changes to work. Eastwood, an auction hotspot today, and next Saturday is set to be one of the busiest days for real estate all year, reflecting a merry rebound in the market. The market really is back. $1,805,000. Snapped up before the year is wrapped up. Serena and Loro, 7 News. First time Holden's historic collection of rare cars has gone on public display. It includes the first and the last Holdens to roll off the assembly line, as well as concept cars never seen before. It's a Revhead's dream come true. Holden's Heroes brings the rarest 18 vehicles together in their spiritual home. I think this is the best Christmas present ever. I think this is an amazing gift, for uh, a, a great gift to South Australia and to the museum from Holden. The legend began when Sir Edward Holden took his family carriage business in Adelaide into partnership with General Motors to create Australia's first car manufacturer. Today his granddaughters are proud. I think it's wonderful and I'd love my father and grandfather to be here to see it. I think they would be very sad about the demise but I think they'd be thrilled that, it, that it's Probably. being uh, presented as it has been today. The collection includes historical vehicles like Holden number no. one. Australian as they come, that's Holden. Holden, you in my Holden. And the last which rolled off the Elizabeth production line in 2017 to an ovation from workers. And concept cars like this one-of-a-kind effigy. And 1969 futuristic hurricane that was ahead of its time but never went into production. Climate control system, it's got reversing camera and TV in it. This HT GTS Bathurst Monaro originally sold in 1969 for about $5,000. Today it could fetch a cool quarter of a million. The collection will be displayed indefinitely at the National Motor Museum to make sure Holden's never die. Peter Caldicott.